feel like at some point when we play Five Nights at Freddy's, there's a point when we just think, can't I just like, leave? I mean, nothing's stopping you except the animatronics, so... How can you escape whilst keeping the animatronics in mind? FNAF 1 is going to be like really easy, no exaggeration. All you got to do is run at the hall super fast and then I'm pretty sure there's an entrance somewhere here. So yeah, you just run out there, break something if you want to. The only problem that would be possible are the animatronics, but they really aren't much of a threat since they're literally like huge hunks of metal so all you have to do is just give them a little push and they fall over. The only other one I can think of that would actually be threatening is Foxy and I mean you could just trip him or something. If he runs at you, you can just dodge, you know? Boom, you're okay. You can leave. <laughs> Pretty much the same story with FNAF 2, but just slightly harder with a few more steps. But yeah, just shoot out the main hall, either one of these or maybe the game area would have the door, so you just charge out there. Now, I feel like the animatronics would be a little harder to avoid since they are made of plastic and they might be faster. But if you're able to cover more ground than, say, like a pig, then I think you'll be just like A-OK. -okay. The only other problem I can see is Balloon Boy. With Balloon Boy, just don't bring a torch with batteries, just bring like your phone or something. Five Nights at Freddy's 3 is when things would actually start to kind of be a challenge. The reason being is because Springtrap isn't a kid, he's a man, like He'll probably be a lot faster and stronger and stuff, so this is the time where you'll actually have to try. You'll probably be able to just like place an audio lure somewhere, just wait for him to go over to that spot and then just run for it. But if you do end up coming in contact with him, just bring like a crowbar or a knife and just beat the shit out of him. And then when that's dealt with, you can probably find the exit, just we'll just break a window if you want. I don't even have to say. Sister location is where things start to get I guess probably the hardest in this list. If you want to take the easy way out, resign. But if you want to take the hard way out, A, don't be stupid and fall for all their chitty tricks. What kind of sick lunatic is going to listen to a robot that literally has her eyes gouged out? And B, bring a taser because if just a slight bolt of lightning can literally disable them then I'm pretty sure that if you just bought a taser then literally all of the events in the game could pretty much just be avoided. So yeah, good for you. You win. Shut up. You shut up. That's why your shoes are raggedy. That's why Charlie's dead. Dead as hell. What you she got on? What you she got on in the puppet? FNAF 6 really actually got me thinking because if you even if you just like place the metal sheet over the tiny little vent doors scrap baby still has that snippy snippy thing so you'd be likely fucked but then it came to me live bait so all the animatronics are there for children right so all you have to do is place a child somewhere just an unattended or homeless child and just make it run around for a bit and that'll give you enough time to do your work and the animatronics will get but you have to pick a fast one because you know then it'll take more time for you know the animatronics to finish their job and then you can finish yours as well so yeah very easy you know while we're at it let's make sure there isn't anything else stuck inside to access freddy's chest cavity 
grab Freddy's book. The way you beat Five Nights at Freddy's VR is very easy. Take the headset off, go outside, touch some grass, or just download another game to play on Steam. Done. You're just a child. In a mask. Suck these nuts. It never ceases to amaze me how dumb this little shit is. There is glass windows even though they're covered in a metal sheet. You could very easily get Freddy Fazbear to lift them up and then smash the glass and then yit. It is as simple as that. You don't need to go through this kerfuffle to get like three different dismembered body parts from animatronics go through an entire affair with a robot when you could have been just breaking a door that is all that is separating you anyways thank you for watching um, i'm hoping to do more of this and goodbye